Welcome to ECCB Connects. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank will roll out Dcash, the digital version of the EC dollar, on March 31st. Dcash is a safer, faster, cheaper way to send funds to family and friends and pay for goods and services. Today, we speak with Shamin Powell, Chair of the ECCB FinTech Working Group, about this historic event. Stay connected. We'll share more with you after this break. Greetings, everyone. The moment we've been anticipating will soon be here. I speak of the public rollout of ECTV's digital currency, Dcash. Today, I am very pleased to announce that Dcash will go live on March 31st, 2021. I repeat, Dcash will go live on March 31st, 2021. Dcash is safer, it is faster, and cheaper. Get on board. Get ready. Now. And never forget that the future of the EC dollar is digital. So let's make history together. Shaman, welcome back to ECCB Connects. Hi, Karina. Nice to be here. Now, Dcash is going live. Come 31st March, the governor has announced that Dcash will be rolled out to the public. For those who may never have heard about Dcash, let's go through the basics. What is Dcash? Dcash is a digital version of the EC currency. So we have physical notes and coins currently. So we're now moving to a digital version where you can access the Dcash through a digital wallet. You may ask, what is a digital wallet? That is basically an app which you download on your phone or your tablet, any smart device, through which you can actually access the Dcash. Why use Dcash? Persons may say that there are other payment methods out there, digital payment options, but why should somebody try Dcash as a new product? To answer that question, Karina, I'll go through our tagline, safer, faster, cheaper. So let's start with safer. So the, the technology that underlies the Dcash is the blockchain technology, which is a fairly new technology, but we've gone to great lengths to make sure that all the security measures are in place, and we have several redundancies that we've put in place to make sure the security of the underlying infrastructure is, is top-notch. And then at the level of the financial institutions and the agencies, which will be processing these transactions and processing these applications, we have something like multi-factor or authentication. What that is, no one person can affect a transaction. At the level of the consumer, you have biometrics, you have passwords to access your digital wallet. So we have a number of security measures we've put in place to ensure that the Dcash is safe. Some persons have even asked, how do I know my information is safe? Right, privacy. Precisely. And <clears throat> what we would say to them is this, all the information on the, on the blockchain is encrypted. What does that mean? All you see is some codes, numbers and letters. It means nothing to the, to the individual looking at it. So the information is there in coded form. However, if your financial institution wants to know, well, what does, who, who's associated with a particular code, they can go behind and see who is associated with it. However, they can only do that for their customers. So therefore, if I am a customer of the bank, they can't go and see who it is. And they can see one side of a transaction, so they might see that Sharman Powell did a transfer, but they wouldn't know to who because it's all coded. It's all so coded. that adds to the privacy of information. And as I mentioned before, which is very important, only your financial institution can see your information, just as it currently obtains with your bank account currently. Right, because some persons may ask, you know, they have the concern, everything is online, is my, is my data really safe? And you know, from time to time we hear of security breaches with credit cards or online payment platforms. So it's good to know that all the measures have been go, um, put in place to ensure that the information is safe. Yes. And if you go to faster, now currently we do transactions in cash <clears throat> or even using debit cards, credit cards, or even wire transfers or checks. And this can take up to two days, three days to actually go through. With Dcash, it's three seconds. Faster. Three seconds. Faster. So what, when you tap, three seconds after, the money is sent and you see your actual balance reduced. So you can actually track your funds in real time to see how your money is spent. 
So compared to the other methods out there, it is definitely faster. So as soon as you tap the button to send a payment or you process it, it's almost instantaneous. Yes, you'll see a balance change and the person can pick up the device and say, hey, I got payment. Now in terms of cheaper, now we know that in terms of maybe wire transfers, debit and credit card transactions, there are costs associated with it. Now for the pilot, there is no cost associated with Dcash. So all the transactions are free for end users, merchants, financial institutions. And we expect even post-pilot, if there is a fee incurred, it will be significantly lower than what currently obtains for the other payment methods. So that is how we say safer, faster, cheaper. In addition to that, Karina, one of the benefits of Dcash is that persons who currently can't enjoy the benefits of online payments can now do that because there are some persons who don't have a debit card or a credit card, and so they have to go in and join the long lines in different establishments to make payments. With the Dcash, anybody can do online payments. Once the merchant offers a facility, you can use a Dcash and pay online. So that's one great benefit of the Dcash. Let's move to how an individual can access and use Dcash. Explain that to us. To access Dcash, you first have to download the app from the App Store, whether it's the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. Once you've downloaded that app to your device, you have two options to join the Dcash. You can do a registered-based wallet or a value-based wallet. And as I mentioned before, your wallet is just the app. And so a registered-based customer would go to their financial institution once they're participating in the pilot, whether it's a commercial bank or a credit union, and they would do the online application through the app. And once approved by their financial institution, they have a digital wallet that they can now use to transact Dcash. So they can transfer funds from their account at the financial institution to their wallet and begin transacting in Dcash. So it's that easy for persons who have a bank account and whose financial institution is participating in the pilot. So for those persons who don't have a bank account or whose financial institution is not in the pilot, they can opt for a value-based wallet. Okay. That way, it's the same process, download the app, and once you've done that, fill out the application, and that goes to an agency. So we have agencies in all four pilot countries. Once they approve the application, then you can get your wallet topped up. Now, in this case, to top up your wallet, you go to an agent or a merchant, you take physical cash, and then it will be converted to digital cash and transferred to your wallet. And then you begin. And then you begin transacting. So once you have your wallet approved and you have Dcash transferred to your wallet, you're free to go anywhere where Dcash is accepted and transact. Shaman, you've spoken about a pilot that Dcash is being conducted in. Explain more about that to us. The pilot is basically a test. So what we're doing is testing the use of Dcash in the ECCU. We're starting out initially with four of the eight countries. So we started in Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Lucia. However, the pilot will run for 12 months. And within that 12 month period, it, Dcash will actually be rolled out to all eight ECCU countries. So at the end of the 12 month period, all eight ECCU countries will have experienced the use of Dcash. That means, in addition to Antigua and Barbuda, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Lucia, we also have Dcash in Angola, Dominica, Montserrat, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dcash is going live. Governor of the ECCB has announced that come 31st March, Dcash will be rolled out to the public. What does this mean for the people of the ECCB member countries? On March 31st, persons can download the app from the app stores, complete the online application, have it approved, fund their wallets, and then begin transacting in Dcash. Now a person might ask, do I have to be in one of the four pilot countries to transact in Dcash? So if you have an account, if you are currently residing in a non-pilot country, but you have an account in a pilot country, you can actually sign up for a registered-based wallet. Through your financial through institution. Your financial institution, correct. And then have funds transferred to your Dcash wallet. And that way you can send funds from where you are to the, the, the pilot country. So or for example, anyone with a Dcash wallet. Right. So for example, you may have a bill to pay. You might be on vacation in St. Vincent, but you have a bill to pay in St. Kitts, and that merchant offers online services, and you can pay with Dcash. So you've signed up with your, your bank in St. Kitts, and then you have your Dcash, so you can go online and make your payments. You can be as far as the UK, the US. Anywhere. Once you have an account at a participating financial institution, 
and you can get a Dcash wallet, you can transact. Shaman, essentially what you've said is that although Dcash is being rolled out initially in these four pilot countries, once you're able to obtain a Dcash wallet and load it from wherever you are in the world, you can use Dcash for, to pay for goods and services as well as send it to friends and family. Yes, Karina, Dcash can be used from anywhere in the world. Shaman, you've said Dcash is accessible on your smartphone or your tablet. What happens if you lose one of these devices? Do you lose your Dcash as well? Not at all, Karina. That has been one of the selling points of the Dcash. If you were to lose your device, whether it's stolen, it's lost, or for whatever reason you can't access your smartphone or your tablet, your Dcash is safe. There's a process by which you can actually access your Dcash. Even if you lose your password, if you forgot your password, you have a process to go through, you can actually have your password reset, and voila, your cash is restored. Sharmin, thanks for speaking with us today on ECCB Connects. We look forward to when Dcash, the digital version of the EC dollar, goes live on March 31st. Yes, Karina, we are looking forward to the rollout of Dcash on March 31st, and we invite everyone to be part of history when we bring to the public this new payment method, Dcash, safer, faster, cheaper. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank is rolling out Dcash, the next step in the evolution of the EC dollar. Use Dcash to send and receive money to and from friends and family. Make payments directly from your smart device. Make payments from wherever you are. Download the app from the Google Play or Apple Store and sign up or visit dcashec.com for more information. The future of the EC dollar is digital. Let's make history together. Season 15 of ECCB Connects is coming to an end. The final episode airs on 31st March. We will resume in May 2021 with new and interesting programs highlighting who we are, what we do, and how we serve you. Be sure to stay connected with us during the break by following ECCB Connects on all social media platforms. You've been watching ECCB Connects. Thanks for joining us and see you again next week when we bring you another program to share with you who we are, what we do, and how we serve you.